The main focus of my research is human skeletal variation, which I apply in both ancient and modern contexts. In the ancient context, I study health and disease in New Kingdom Egyptian skeletons to understand life and how people behaved and what they ate in the 18th dynasty site of Tel El Amarna, which is where King Tut was born. My interest is in studying the skeletons of the non-elite population. So there are approximately 13,000 individuals buried in different cemeteries around this city. And so we look at these skeletons and how they were buried and try to interpret what their lives were like. And in the modern context, I use that information to understand human diversity and how we can apply human diversity to forensic cases to help identify missing people and unidentified skeletal remains when they arrive in criminal cases. One of the things that makes SIU such a good school for studying forensic anthropology is the presence of the Complex for Forensic Anthropology Research. It is one of 10 such facilities in the world. We have hands-on learning laboratories. We have short courses during the summer that students can take to learn about forensic anthropology very quickly. And we have a forensic anthropologist who engages with local law enforcement to bring in casework for students to engage with actual real-world situations. What I would like most students to learn is simply the, you know, what forensic anthropologists can do and especially what we can't do to counteract the CSI effect that we see in many forensic sciences. One of the main highlights of my teaching career at SIU is the opportunity to engage with students. It really does excite me to see students learn how to do scientific research and see those projects through to fruition, including publication.